I'm Eric Brando, this is Velma Brando, and we're going to review what we taught in our West Coast Swing class. All right, so we taught a tuck turn. Previously, we had done the um, uh, sugar tuck, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sometimes we lose the right hand and it just goes around like that. We can do it also on three. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I can usually stand or not. Any odd number, I can do the stop and run. This one, it's the same concept, we're just moving off of the track and letting her go by me, but, but doing the stop as I'm part ways off the track. So one, two, three. Notice I don't have the hand in here because this doesn't stop her as well. If I do it out here, this gives her a nice direction and a nice stop. Ladies, push against this hand to make a connection here because it will help you to do the redirect coming out. So we can do that on three or five, doesn't matter. We're gonna do it on three. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Ladies, you can do one, two, and three, four, five, and six, or one, two, three, and four, five, and six. For this particular move, I like the end three because it gives you a little more time to change direction after you stop. Okay. Watch film with footwork. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, and three. Notice she's on the ball of her right foot and she's crossing in front on her left and her weight's on her left and her body's facing me. Now I'm gonna, I don't have a hand in here, I have it here and then I'm gonna send her out that way, take my right hand through, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, and three, four, five, and six. And then we can do it on five. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. All I did was extend the first couple of counts. Repeat one, two, one, two, two, and a few more counts. Now the other one we did was we did that, but we did it into a hammerlock. So how do I do that? I go one, two, and three, four. I keep the hand. I have to keep my hand very low, connect with the hand and avoid tweaking your hand. Also, if she travels, tends to travel a little more, I will travel with her when she's going in the hammerlock, so I don't end up like this. Right. So, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. I tend to travel a little bit, do a little cha-cha, kind of step forward to get in position. My hand's over here, not here. So, ladies, you're not faced away from him like this, otherwise you're gonna feel like you're walking sideways. You're facing him, and it's just the fingertips that are connected now. If I lose the hand, I can have my hand on the hip, goes around her hip bone, please no lower, and no higher either. The, the kidney area is not very good for that. Okay, so with the hand, we're going to take two steps. I'm, I'm either going to just bring her back, or I'm going to do a turn. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. The other version is one, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just traveling around her. Notice on that one, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Travel a little bit forward so that she can face me. She can travel backwards. Then I'm going to step back before I go forward. One, two, three, and four. And then I send her behind me. Five, six, seven, and eight. Right to the end of the circle. We can do an underarm turn or whatever we'd like there. Three and four, five and six. So without stopping, one, two, three and four, five and six. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. You get a little momentum, you can actually do another half turn on that. And the same number counts. And good.